everybody welcome back to another video of mine my name is George Gonzalez Hayden and I am figures of action and today we're going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends despair he is a part of the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness build a figure wave because as you can see he has the leg of Renta I do not know which leg but we will find out in this video but first let's take a look at the box right here this looks nice I am going to really miss the the plastic packaging on the boxes if when they are going to do the new packaging. But for right now I'm going to enjoy this. So we can see the figure despair in here. Let's look at the side of the box, an image of him right there. Looks very cool, very nice. And then we get the backing of the box. If you want to read that, I'll leave an image right here and you can pause the video if you want. And then it shows uh, the rest of the figures in the wave. And then we get another side image of despair. Nothing at the top, not much at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> and here is despair out of the packaging let's take a look at this guy very nice when i first saw this figure in the box and from images online i thought it looked really cool so you can see he's got some flame effects on his forearm right here that looks really cool I love the uh, the color of his body like it's just the way that they made this black it's really nice I really like looking at it and I did see somebody on Instagram they uh, got the symbiote spider-man head and put it on this body and I thought that looked really cool so maybe if I ever get the symbiote spider-man I'll do that too just to see but first, let's just look at his cape right here. I love the detail of the cape. I love all these holes in the rips. Like this giant one right here. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Very nice. You can even see the detail inside the cape. It's also very nice. I know it's all just one color, but I love the, uh, the detail within it. It's very cool. It lets you know that it's like a cloth. So very nice. You, let's look at the detail on his head. The head sculpt on this is really cool. I love it. I love how it looks like a skull with red eyes. That's very cool. Very nice. Yes, I really like this. I like it more than I thought I would, which is pretty cool. I like it when that happens with certain figures. I like those flame effects. Very cool. Alright, let me take you to the accessories of Despair. And here are the accessories that come with Despair. I know I put the cape in here, but whatever isn't initially on the figure in the packaging, I kind of consider it as a accessory. But uh, I know we've already just looked at the cape right here, but we'll just look at it again really quick without the figure. Very nice. I love all the rips up here too. I like it a lot. I like this cape. I just love all the holes that it has. I love that detail. I even noticed that there's a bigger rip here as well. So that's cool. Alright. Moving on. He has two open palms right here. I don't know if we've gotten these hands before. We may have. We most likely have but... I do not know. Please tell me in the comments below if we have gotten these hands. Because I haven't seen these. These look really cool. I like all the little wrinkles right here like on the gloves. That's nice. I love that detail. You can see his nails going through it. Awesome. Very cool. And then we just get the... I still don't know what leg this is. I believe this is the right leg of Renta. Yeah, 
This is the right leg of Renta. Very cool. I will not do the articulation of this until we have the full Build-A-Figure. But yeah, now let's move on to the articulation of Despair. Okay, so here we are for the articulation of Despair. So he can put his arms up this far with the cape on. But if I rotate it around, I can make them go a little higher just like that. Very nice. Very cool. He's got double jointed elbows. Uh, a wrist hinge right here. And can also rotate just like that. And he has an ab crunch. He can bend over that far. Bend back a good amount with the cape on. Very cool. And then... Uh, he does have butterfly joints, as you can see under the cape. He does have a butterfly joint. Very nice. Very cool. Don't worry, I'll do one where he has a cape off. And then his head, he can look down this far. And look up a really good amount with the cape. Wow, I'm surprised that he can look up that high with this on. Very cool. I like that. He has... Not that much head pivot, but he can turn his head side to side without these in the way. Well, like, well, he can still move his head, but these don't get in the way is what I'm saying. Sorry about that. And then he does have a waist swivel. He does have a thigh swivel. He kick kick up about that far. And then he can kick back not that much far back, as you can see. And then he does have double, double joint knees. Very cool. Love that. Boot swivel. And then he has a hinge on the foot that can kick up that far. Point down that much on both feet. And he does have an uh, ankle pivot. A nice ankle pivot. Very cool. And then let me just show you really quick without the cape. This is how he looks without the cape. Also, still looks really cool. He can still bend back the same amount as before with the cape on. Bend over this much with the cape on. And then he could look up this far, further up, without the cape. Look down this much without the cape. And then here are the butterfly joints. If you didn't see them before with the cape on, here they are right now. He can put his arms that far back. And then he does have 360 with his arms right there. They can rotate like that. Uh, if I did not say it before, he does have a bicep swivel. Does have a bicep swivel. And yeah, that's kind of about it with his articulation. Now let's move on to the height measurement of despair. But really quick before I do that, sorry about that again. Um, I do know that this guy, this character, he is in the TV series Cloak and Dagger. And that's a series that I did not watch. But I do know that his powers are fear-based. Like, he uses the fear of others to gain more strength and more power to him by using the fear of others. So that's pretty neat. I thought that's pretty cool. But moving on to the height measurement of despair. Okay, here is the height measurement of despair. He stands right about the six and a half inch mark. No way, let's see. Get closer. Almost a halfway mark. He stands about right here. My apologies, I don't really know exactly what that measurement is. I'll write it down below. But besides that, he is around the 6-inch mark, which is eligible for the 6-inch action figure line. I really like this figure. I really love looking at it. I love the detail within it. I know there's not that much detail besides the flames right here, his face, and the, the cloak. And I know he doesn't come with that much accessories, really none, just the extra set of hands. But 
I really like this figure. I love looking at it. I think it's really cool. The articulation of it is very nice. And the feel of it is really nice too. Not rough, not annoying or anything. So I really like this figure. I enjoy it. I enjoy playing with it. And uh, I also enjoy learning more about this character now that I have, in, have him in figure form. So besides that, this figure, I really like it. So I'm going to give this figure a sub rating of awesome. And there you guys have it. That is my figure review and rating of the Marvel Legends Despair. Also part of the Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness build figure wave. This figure is really cool. I really enjoy it. I really love it. I love the look of him, the feel of him, and the articulation is amazing. So I enjoy this figure a lot. And Hopefully you do too. And uh, I do not know that much about this character to demand for certain accessories that come with him. I know he doesn't come with that much besides the these two sets of hands. But I think this figure is great and is worth the, the money. I also believe that it's still worthy of you waiting just a little bit so you can get just at a better price than usual. But this figure is really good so i would say get it before it's too late to get the build a figure piece so you can build the the figure and uh that being said thank you guys so much for watching please like comment subscribe ring the bell for notifications so you can get more uh videos just like this one and please follow me at my instagram account and tiktok account and my Instagram accounts are Figures of Action and American Cimarron. And my TikTok account is Figures of Action. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting this channel by your views and your likes. And please comment down below anything that I need to do. Any figures that I should look into. Because I do want to get other figures besides Marvel Legends. But this one is really cool. And yeah, thank you guys so much. Have an awesome day collecting and an amazing year of collecting more figures just like this one. Peace out, guys. See ya.